Talk about this, what it meant to this team this last weekend to get a split, especially a tough road split against Purdue and Indiana. Uh, anytime you can get a split in the Big Ten on the road, it's a good thing. So, you know, we had a chance to, uh, we played Purdue really tough, and I think the best thing about it is that Sable had a pretty off night for her um, on Friday night against Purdue, and the team still found a way to make it close and give ourselves a chance. Um, and the great thing about it is we bounced back and really played Indiana well, and they've been playing really well at home. I think their, their record was 6-1 and one in the Big Ten at home. And for us to go in and get a win at Indiana was big. You know, getting to 8-8, eight and eight, 500 in the Big Ten with the last two weekends was critical. You look now, we, we've talked about this before, with two weekends left, you know, the Big Ten volleyball season, extremely long, extremely grueling season. You know, what's kind of the, the mindset now, or how are we approaching practices? Uh, practices are fast and furious. You know, we get our kids on the court and off the court, you know, in around two hours. Um, it's a lot of scouting, a lot of little details now, um, you know, and every day we serve and pass for 30 minutes, so after 30 minutes we might have 30 minutes to work on something specific, and then we're doing some scout stuff, and we're off the floor, so, you know, it's just fast, and you just want to make some minor adjustments here as you go down the stretch, so that's what we're doing. Four matches left, two more on the road, last road trip of the season. Start off with probably the toughest road trip in the Big Ten at Penn State. As you go into you know, Penn State, it's a place where not many teams have a lot of success. What are you guys focusing on? We're going to have to play good volleyball. You know, We have to take care of our side of the net first. The, the match, we have to be able to side out at a high efficiency against Penn State because we know they will. Um, and then we have to win a couple rotations. You know, and you know, Our goal is to side out four or five rotations with them and then may hopefully break point you know, just a percentage more, you know, a couple percentage points better than them. I think that's the only way you're gonna we're gonna be successful at Penn State is you know keep it as close as you can by signing out really well, and then hopefully creating some some opportunities on your defense and, and a couple rotations with them.